Welcome back to the Taitiriya Samhita of the Krishna Ayurveda. Today is the 106th day and we will be discussing about immunity which is very relevant nowadays. We are now going through a very difficult phase of the pandemic and the Veda had prescribed an antidote for it years back, millions of years back. And it specified that manuj will help us gain immunity against all diseases. They did not use the word pandemic, but it specified that the manuj are the lord of all health matters and to gain immunity we should be praying to marriage. This prayer also specifies the importance of prayer during three times. That is the Santhya Vandanas. The Satagas who learn Veda, they practice this threefold prayer. Morning, noon, and evening. These are three Sandhya Vandanas. And these three Sandhya Vandanas are specified in this prayer. So today's prayer specifies that we should be praying three times a day and also we should strengthen all the internal devatas using this prayer. As we have seen Today's Anvaga was a prayer for the blessings from Maruts and all the other Devadas. And the next Anvaga is a prayer to our ancestors. Welcome back to a discourse on the Taitiriya Samhita of the Krishna Ajurveda. Today we are on to 107th day. And the topic of our discussion is Pitrin, known as Ancestors. As usual, please hang on for the English explanation after the recital of the mantras. So <laughs> Dojan Vinda de Hari Akhanami Madan Dakyava Priya Dodada Astoja Savana Bori Prana Vitaya Madi Dojan Vinda de Hari Akhan Pitarami Madan the Pitarati Tripanta Pitarami Madan the Pitaraha Ade the Pitaras Sam Yagam Bere Padipur Bay Atavitam Savitatragam Apita Yamena Geta Dhamma Dhamma Dhanti Banan Vahuva Mahena Rakakum Zena Stormena Petrinan Taman Nadi Anane Dhamma Purakrat Vedakshadi Vase Jokchatur Yandrese 
Vedic civilization places great importance on the continuity of life. It says that we are the continuation of our ancestors known as Pitrin and our children are our continuation. In a sense it says that the energy continues. Accordingly it mentions that we should revere and respect and remember our ancestors. For that purpose Pitri Karma is very important in the Vedic civilization. Even today, the practitioners of the Vedic life, the Brahmins as they are known, they perform the rituals along with the mantras. Today's Anuvaka is a collection of such mantras which are used in Amavasi Tarpana and also during Sraddha. That means the Sraddha is a ceremony or ritual done with great Sraddha in remembrance of our Pitrin. And a very important feature of the Vedic mantras and this ritual is that it specifies that we should do all this during Vasara, that is daytime. And the most auspicious time to do Pidrakarmas is mid-noon. That's why you might have noticed the Sraddhas and Tarpanas are recommended to be done after 11 in the morning, between 11 and 12, when the sun is at its peak. And this mantra prays to the sun god that is the Agni for blessing from our ancestors. So the Antaragni, the internal fire, which is a manifestation of the Sun God, is lit within us by the Almighty and it is continuing from our ancestors. The Pitrakarmas are very important in the Sanatana way of life. And the Pitrin are present within us to borrow current day language as the genes. So keep praying to your Pitrin and be blessed by them. In the next Anivaka, we learn about the Triambaga Mandra, which is very popular. So stay tuned and kindly subscribe to this channel. Also kindly of visit our website to download all the mantras and their meanings from the beginning. Thank you.